It's as simple as it gets. You can look at that 23 and 8. That's an outstanding record knowing that those eight losses came against champions. 13 and 0 for Adam Borch has never lost in combat sports. Here's Michael C. Williams. The opening round in Bellator's Featherweight World Grand Prix continues now live on the zone set for three five minute rounds. Introducing the blue corner at 5'11", weighing in 144.7 pounds as a professional. He stands undefeated, 13 victories, no defeats, representing Hungary. He fights out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida, presenting Adam the Kid Borich. And across the cage is adversary out of the red corner at 5 foot 10 weighing in 144.6 pounds. The two time former featherweight world champion enters with 23 professional victories, eight losses. Fighting out of Crystal Lake, Illinois, introducing Pat, Patty Mike Curry. In charge of the action, your referee, Frank Trigg. Frank Trigg, the referee for this, the third matchup in the opening round of the Bellator MMA Featherweight World Grand Prix. And a Borch, undefeated Pat Curran, looking Ready? to bounce back from Ready? the loss to AJ Fight. McKee, the bell in round one. It is Curran in the red gloves, Borch in the blue gloves. Curran is 10 and a four in Bellator Featherweight competition since dropping down back in June of 2011. One of the things that Adam Borch is going to find in this fight is Pat Kern is very difficult to get to. He's got outstanding defense. Watch his chin. Watch how it stays pressed down towards his chest. Borch started MMA training back when he was 16. Actually started Muay Thai training before getting into MMA. Of course, Hungary, not exactly an MMA husband, but he <laughs> put in a big crowd in his performance there. And uh, it's, again, his, his rise will probably correlate with the rise in the fan base in Hungary. Oh, look at that. As he goes on, and if he continues to go on in this tournament, he is going to absolutely be gaining fans, because in Hungary, they love him. His four-fight winning streak at featherweight, tied for third longest, behind A.J. McKee and Henry Corrales, who will both be in the tournament later this month, September 28th, at the fabulous form in Inglewood, California, feeling out process here in the opening round. And of course, a big step up for Boric against a, a wily veteran in Curran. Curran in his 32nd professional bout. And what you just saw there is when Boric finally decided to come in, Pat Curran was waiting and countered with that right hand and landed flush. Spinning back kick attempt by Boric. He has a penchant for the flashy. What we really have to watch with Pat Curran, for, in my opinion, if Borch is able to stay to the outside and control that distance, he's going to win this fight. If Pat Curran crushes that distance, comes inside, that's where he can be successful. Borch clipped Curran with the left hand, went downstairs outside, leg kick to the lead leg of Curran. Curran makes a quick kick. Two minutes gone in the first round. So much, of course, at stake. Not only the featherweight championship, but that $1 million cash prize that everyone has been talking about. And Cohen, of course, young family, wanting to provide, wanting to show them their commitment, their support over the years. Could result in life-changing income. Well, like you just saw there, you saw Borch go after Cohen with a left and right but defended, did not hit the target it's supposed to hit. And that's what I'm gonna say is, Pat Kern is very, very good defensively. He is hard to touch. Boric said the biggest advantages he would have in this fight are his youth and his hunger. And just because Kern has been to the top of the mountain on two occasions, don't question his hunger. He actually is grateful for the opportunity coming off the loss to McKee, but Again, knowing what he's meant to the Bellator featherweight division over the years. Well, he's been fantastic, and he has fought the best of the best there is. It's the speed of Adam Borch that he is going to be concerned about. Oh, double jab, right hand, beautiful combination by Borch. There's no doubt that Adam Borch is the faster fighter. And 
when you have speed on your side, that helps. Orange training under Henry Hoop, a noted striking coach. Part of Hard Knocks 365 in Florida. Current the Crystal Lake, Illinois native. Hopes that this outing for boards would be scarier than attending Kenny Brooks. Little data for your best story left. What an iconic move to come on. Right now, the kicks of Adam Borch has been the big difference. He's landed a couple of good shots with his hands, but those kicks have been keeping Pat Curran out of distance. Final 60 seconds of the first frame, very much a show of respect here between the two, and Curran explodes with a combination that, while well, not really scoring, at least. Well, blocked by Borch. Giving Borch a, an opportunity to showcase his defense. some footwork Borch, very mature for his age 26 14th professional fight more than double Pat Curran has twice as much experience but of course with that experience comes some some mileage on the odometer well, absolutely when you get into those hard fights and that damage starts to accrue you have to have your times to get away from the sport well, the wick has yet to be lit in what potentially could be an explosive encounter, but we're just getting started in this opening round matchup of the Featherweight World Cup. Well, boxing is coming your way on to zone a loaded lineup over well, the fall heading into the late fall friday september 13th devin haney versus zaur abdulayev saturday september 14th jaime monguya takes on and ryan garcia gets patrick alati gennady golovkin sergey devryanchenko go at it and Andy Ruiz looks to upset Anthony Joshua. Get it, will it be an upset? He shocked the boxing world by taking Anthony Joshua's heavyweight titles. They'll rematch December 7th. Pat, I can't focus. Turn around, Adam. Turn around. Turn around. Ready? Ready? Fight! The bell in round at number two. How do you have it after the first round on your unofficial scorecard, John? Unofficial, I give that round to Adam Porch. He's the one that controlled the positioning of the fight. He landed very good leg kicks. Those were the difference in, the, in that round. Inside the cage versus cousin Jeff Curran. Noted mixed martial artist in his time, becoming a good coach. The big frog. The big frog. Showing 
respect for Pat Curran's resume. Curran trying to bounce back from the loss to McKee after a career long sabbatical. You can see some of the damage on Pat Curran's lower left leg from all those leg kicks that that horse has been throwing. Midway point of the round and the fight. Keep it up, keep it so, up, all right? All right. Both be dope. careful, Watch but the what you need to see is whoever is going to lead this dance. If Pat Curran can get Borch to go backwards, that's going to start to establish that he's going to be in control of that fight. Move there by Borch, stabbing the body of Curran with that jab, and if he goes to the body with the jab, may open up the opportunity for the left hook upstairs. Tries to slash the jab through the guard of Curran, going downstairs with the low inside kick, and See the, the thought process, the, the mind of Borich. That low calf kick on that left leg is starting to have an effect. You can see the way that Pat is stepping with his foot. He's feeling it. There he avoids that kick. Borich trying to find a way. Spinning back fist by Pat Curran. Trying to catch Borich. Well, in a surprise, nothing doing. Really not much doing in this. Opening round contest in the Featherweight World Grand Prix. Curran, who is 13 and 5 in Bellator. Under a minute left in the second round. And there's a knee, and it connects again. Curran the knee on Curran. And Curran trying to shut up, gives up his back. Curran turned the boomers and went for the knee. Curran didn't really get hurt. He got dropped. Not hurt. He's clamped down on the left arm with his arm and controlling the wrist. Watch back of the house. Give him a go. Less than 30 seconds left in the round. Right back, Pat. Right back. Curran showing up blocking. And the first by Borich. And Curran, the veteran, trying to neutralize the youngster. Trying to survive the round. Curran blocking the line. Some of them are getting through. Right back in there, Pat. Keep moving. Right back, Pat. Let's stop the strike. Got my right back. Tick. Tick. Go over. Go over. The fight has been stopped by the referee. I love the... I heard the bell, John. I heard the bell also, but it was the decision of Frank Trigg, the referee. That when the bell rang, the fighter was unable to continue in the fight. So, Adam Borges' barrage at the end of that round will bring him to the quarterfinals as he improves to 14 and 0. 5-0 on Bellator authoring the biggest win of his searching career. Here comes Adam Borges' fly knee. Watch him bring that left knee up. Boom. It touches him. I don't think it hurt him that bad, but he was already being pushed back with the weight of the body. He goes to his back. He see that he's there, he's looking up at his opponent, but systematically, Borch starts landing these shots. He's blocking a lot of them, but some get through, and when it's hitting the glove, and the glove is against his head, it's still rattling his brain. You see the heavy elbows down here? He's starting to change what Pat Curran is doing, and he becomes nothing more than a guy accepting damage. And that's why you hear Frank Trick saying you gotta fight back. He doesn't see it made up his mind that he was stopping the fight just as the bell rang. And Curran gets stopped for the first time via strikes here in the Bellator Featherweight World Grand Prix, just adding to the building reputation of Adam Boric. Hungry is hungry for a champion. The kid could be the one to deliver. You gotta be very impressed with that young man right there, Moro. He is the real deal. That was an impressive ending 
to a fight where he was very calm, very calculated. And here comes that switch knee. Brings up the right, here comes the left. It lands, and it's more of that, like I said, just the force of the weight puts Pat on his back, but then he doesn't just sit there and wait. He goes after him with these hammer fists, and then when he shuts the legs to the side, yeah! here comes the elbows. That's what started to change what Pat Kern was doing. He gets a hold of Pat Kern here and starts to land the elbows, and you see Pat Kern, instead of holding that body, bringing it close, now he's shielding, but he's just accepting blows. And he's nothing more than a big punching bag. That's why Frank Trent stops the fight. You agree with the stoppage, John? You know what? You have got to fight back. You have got to defend yourself. You have got to show that you want to be in the fight. Adam Boric has just bounced a former two-time featherweight champion in Pat Curran out of the tournament. Hands Curran his first ever loss via strikes. And Curran appears to be injured, limping and showing his sportsmanship getting to the center of the cage where we will make it official once again, the one and only Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, four minutes, 59 seconds, round number two. Referee Frank Trigg weighs off the contest due to unanswered strikes for the winner by T.K. Ho. And now into the corner, final round of the Featherweight World Grand Prix. The kid, Adam Boric. Let's go to Big John McCarthy, joined by a smiling kid, Adam Boric. Congratulations, Adam Boric. You were very calm, cool, and calculated through that fight. You didn't take a lot of chances in the beginning, but when you got your chance, you just went after it. We just getting started, bro. <laughs> no, you know. I am not, not like a guy who is just punch kicking. I am thinking, and I had a game plan, and I followed that, and it's 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 worked. When you landed the knee, it didn't look like it hurt him so much as it knocked him off balance. But you went after him with a vengeance. Talk about the ending of that fight. You know, I felt the moment I have a chance to finish, and uh, you know, I am a finisher. I am looking always for the finish, and I. I finished. Never, he never would be finished, but I did. You did. You are 14 to no. I want to congratulate you on moving on in the World Featherweight Grand Prix. Ladies and gentlemen, Adam the Kid Boric. The cerebral and sensational Adam Boric.